Hi, Mark Gordon, GoldenTicker.com, and it is Tuesday just before the market close on the 20th of December 2011. And I wanted to go over uh, what's happening in gold, um, uh, the bounce that we're having today. Uh, we're up about 1.36% uh, right now. Uh, we're about 15 minutes before the close. And we are uh, getting held back here by this black dotted line, which is the 200-day moving average. Now, uh, closing above that line would be very bullish, uh, would uh, make uh, the bulls uh, feel a lot better about uh, what has just happened with this uh, uh, you know, collapse in prices of, of late. Um, so a nice bounce uh, uh, following through from last week. Uh, we have now made a um, higher high three days in a row. Uh, gapped up this morning, but uh, like I said, being held back here by this 200-day moving average line. Now, you'll notice here that volume has been falling off. Uh, that can be uh, looked at a couple different ways. Um, the fact that uh, we did have this big massive fall and uh, uh, volume is tapering off uh, would suggest that uh, we're just digesting this fall and uh, searching for a new direction. Um, also, when you have rising prices like we have had uh, for the last three or four days here, um, you'd like to see that come in increasing volume or um, uh, at least on the up days, uh, some above average uh, uh, and increasing days from the previous day. So um, looks like we're just stalling here. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, certainly closing above the 200-day moving average a couple of days in a row would be a nice sign that maybe this is a, an intermediate term bottom here at 150, 171 on the GLD. Uh, I remain neutral. Um, uh, not looking to jump in uh, uh, until uh, this uh, chart improves a bit more. And now moving on to the SLV, um, just a real quick look here. Uh, we're up about 2.8% right now. Uh, just kind of waffling back and forth here after last week's uh, big fall. Broke out of this uh, uh, triangle formation on a huge gap down. Um, did not uh, uh, quite take out this previous low at 2741 back here, made back here in September but uh, still uh, waffling along, uh, trying to find a bottom here as well. Way below the 200-day, which is way up here. Here's the 100-day, this green line, and here is your 50-day, this blue line. So below all the key uh, moving averages, uh, kind of drifting sideways in light volume, uh, trying to uh, maybe stabilize down here. Uh, uh, certainly a, a move up here to test this upper trend line and to close above it would be a very bullish sign here. But we'd still be under the 50-day moving average. Uh, so silver still looking weak chart-wise. And moving on to the S&P 500, um, uh, up 3.13%. Nice bounce today. Uh, we had been uh, finding some overhead resistance here at this blue line, the 50-day moving average, and today moved up decisively through that. And we are at the top of the range right now. Uh, and uh, moving a bit higher here as we come into the market close. Uh, we will see some overhead resistance here at this black line, the 200-day moving average, and of course uh, up here at this upper trend line, which has held prices back for quite some time now. But uh, nevertheless, a nice move here. Uh, one caveat though, it did come in on lighter and below average volume. Uh, so you'd like to see a move like this um, uh, on some heavy volume. We are in a pre-Christmas holiday week. Uh, so light volume uh, is the order of the day. Um, so uh, S&P 500 trying to get back up and test the upper end of the range now after getting close to the lower end of the range uh, yesterday and this morning. So that's it. Just a quick look at the uh, gold, silver, and the spiders. Good luck trading.